Hello everybody, today I will show you another video on Masakin Tiff that is how to improve your flexibility in chaining. After this video, I hope you can save more time when you make some chaining. Why? Because with uh, some difficult part, you usually uh, make mistake when you select chain you forgot something and you have to regain that will cost a lot of time and here I will show you how to increase your flexibility in gym okay my English is not good so if you can listen you cannot listen what I'm talking please watch the video and I think you will understand what I'm talking about okay here's a very simple example for what I'm talking I have a stop point here and I want to select chain to different location here location 1, location 2, 3 and 4 without regenning yes that's our requirement without regenning just one attempt okay first I select tool path control here you can see the chain window open this option the chain option is mostly used so I will show you how to do this in the first case I have to start from here and my aim point is here, the way one. I want it go to this direction. Just very simple, select your start point and select this brain. This brain to move up chain to the right location. It's very simple. We start from here and we end as the location one okay the way one so the problem is if I don't want my chain stop at this position but I want my chain go through this direction and stop in this location what should I do I don't want to rechain because it takes a lot of time so I will show you there's a there's an option usually hidden in Jenny. To open it, you have to click to this button. Expand the Jenny window. Okay, after expanding, you can see that we have uh, some button here. With the button, we can change the start point, the end point position. In this case, I have to change the end point position to this location and I click to the end button back to the previous position okay you can see that our end point I just move to this previous location I can select again back select and back if I don't want to I don't want it to move through this direction okay now I want to move to way through. Way through, you can see the green line here. I just select this brain, this brain, this brain, and I move my chain to way through. That's very simple. Do it, I will do it again. Chain one, way one. Okay, and I don't want just back back your endpoint and select another frame to move to the desired location okay now we move the way to if if I don't want my chain go through this direction I want my chain move like this It stop here 
and move this way to way two. How can I do? Okay. Just the same, you have to back your endpoint. Yet, you can back at this position and select this brain. Oh, you can see the another problem here. The line is not break. So, what should we do now? I cannot quit this function and do a break operation. So, this is the interrupt mode, mode button by clicking it you can you can do the break operation without quitting the chaining yes you can do a break okay I use shortcut key break I select this line and select break point okay you can see that I'll uh, break and now we press the escape key to return to the chaining more so I can select this brain and I got the design part so you can see I move here here yeah yeah I can move like this more like this okay if we don't want just the the chain stop here we want it move to the way three what should we do okay let's find a way to way three we have we can go through this way we can go through this way okay let's start from here just back 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 again and select this okay we move to way 3 or if you want to move to deep path just back again and select this brain this brain and again this line is not break we should use the interrupt more and do a break operation I select the break point here okay after we break the line press the escape key to return to the chain more okay and I see this chain yeah you can see we to go to way three with dairy chaining. Okay, what about way four? Find a way to move to way four. Let look at it. We have a gap between this line and this line, so we have to join this to join them um, before I can get my chain to this location. Okay, let's find a way to way four. We can do through this way. Okay, let back my endpoint. I will break this line again using interrupt more. Select. Sorry, you interrupt more and break this line first select the break location okay after I break it I return to the chaining select the line yeah you can see let's move to the way 4 and the last time we need to do the last thing we need to do is join this line this line yes yeah, sure you don't want to rechain and again the interrupt more is to have your lot in chaining Select the interrupt and you can do what you want before you before you keep select the chain. Okay. I have to join these lines. Uh, your socket key. Trim. I trim this line and this line. 
ok at the trim I quit the interrupt mode by pressing escape and then I can select the way to this location ok you can see by one attempt I can move my endpoint to this location, this location, this location without rechaining it saves your time a lot and another function is very great that is you can move your start point or end point to desired location manual move here you can see that button you select the button and select you click here that means you move the start point you click near the end the end around you click near the red around that you will move the end point click near the green around that means you move the start point and I will show you how to do that if I want to move the star point to this location just click a nearer near the green around here and select the new location for star point and you can see that again if I want to move the end point to this location just select the build this button again click near the red around to move your end point click it and move your end point to this location yeah you can see we have moved our start point to here and move our end point to here with that rechain that's very good okay then and you can see that our chain start from here and here yes in the video I have show you how to use the interrupt more a very useful function in Mastercam and another is the chaining yeah the chaining function the start and end function that you can quickly change your start point and end point thank you for viewing my video